Just gonna give folks a few seconds to come in from the waiting room. Please mute yourself when you are entering unless you are actively testifying for the division today. Everyone is muted. Great, thank you. Good morning, this is an administrative hearing before the Mayor's Office of Consumer Affairs and Licensing. Today is Monday, February 14th, 2022. This hearing is being conducted pursuant to certain temporary amendments to the open meeting law. That is what allows us to meet virtually. This hearing is being recorded and will be posted to the City of Boston's website. We are joined today by the Executive Director of the Mayor's Office of Consumer Affairs and Licensing, Kathleen Joyce, and Director of Operations, Rebecca Fu. I will read today's agenda items into the record. I will then ask who is present on behalf of the applicant, who will then make a brief presentation regarding your proposal, followed by questions by the division and testimony beginning with elected officials or their representatives. Please limit your testimony to two minutes and please state your name, address, and affiliation, if any. The first item on today's agenda, Shamrock Hub, uh, has been continued uh, due to a lack of legal notice. Therefore, we will only have one item on today's agenda. Calling Boboland LLC, doing business as Roadrunner, located at 89 Guest Street in Brighton. Application is to maintain and operate the entertainment categories consisting of audio devices, TVs, board games, disc jockey, dancing by patrons, karaoke, instrumental and vocal music up to 50 performers, exhibition trade show, trivia, athletic events, stage plays, and floor show consisting of comedians, cabaret, and dance performances until 2 a.m. seven days a week. Who is present on behalf of the applicant? Good morning, Madam Chair, members of the board, Kristen Scanlon representing the applicant and signed on with us this morning as well, our Josh Body, who's the VP and head of the Boston office for the Bowery Presents and Allison Finney, who is the proposed manager of record for the entertainment license for this new location. Um, by way of background, Allison was recently, or most recently the general manager at House of Blues in Boston for about three years. And she's also worked as a general manager at Higher Ground in Burlington, Vermont, which I believe is Vermont's biggest uh, music venue, as well as the Bowery's Sinclair and Harvard Square in Cambridge for four years as well. So plenty um, of experience managing these types of venues. As part of the Boston Landing Development, which is currently home of the New Balance World Headquarters, um, the track at New Balance, which is uh, under construction in conjunction with uh, this venue, as well as the Boston Bruins and Celtics practice and training facilities, other new offices, residents, retailers, and restaurants. This particular application is for the planned concert venue by the Bowery Presents, who is a leading concert promoter and venue management company that operates some of the most beloved venues uh, for artists and fans alike along the East Coast and locally uh, here at the Sinclair, as previously mentioned. As far as the venue details are concerned, and Josh can certainly elaborate, a bit more on this as well in a few moments, but it is a 50,000 square foot venue, uh, which can accommodate up to 3,500 people. Upon completion, the Roadrunner will be the largest general admission uh, standing room only indoor music venue in Boston and plans to host approximately 150 shows a year. Um, the categories of entertainment as were read into the record um, because of the nature of the venue, obviously, we'll most often utilize instrumentalists and vocalists, but the other requested categories are more geared towards private and special events, and they'll be able, want to be able to offer uh, those categories for bookings as well. A painstaking and impressive, impressive amount of work, detail, collaboration, and consultation has gone into this venue over the course of the past several years, and they're proud and excited to be able to open and introduce the venue to the public. Uh, one piece of that, which I think is worth highlighting to the board in particular for this entertainment hearing is the incredible amount of detail that has gone into the sound attenuation work for Roadrunner. Um, an extensive sound study was conducted with three different sound consultants and the construction method was intricate in both energy and expense. In order to not only present the best sound experience, um, within the venue, but also avoid any disruption to the surrounding neighborhood. They've built the venue to incorporate two layers of drywall everywhere, 
large air gaps, acoustically rated exterior doors, as well as building the venue so that the whole ceiling is suspended, which is a method used in order to not transmit more vibration into the structure. Uh, because sound is vibration, decoupling of the walls from the structure itself creates less vibration on the exterior of the building, which is what would ordinarily cause the sound to emanate from the walls to begin with. Um, I think kind of interesting fun facts as well that I've learned throughout this process too. Um, the state of the art facility comes along with top tiered security training and detail as well. The head of security for AEG, the Bowery's parent company, boasts a team consisting of the upper echelon of people in public safety, knowledge and trading, including folks um, who previously worked for the Department of Homeland Security. This team through AEG is responsible for vetting the local um, security management companies who will be on the ground providers here in Boston, and they're utilizing RSIG security who also um, is the same company that provides security for events like the Boston Marathon, Boston Calling, Children's Hospital, the Special Olympics, um, so on and so forth. So incredibly experienced and detail-oriented security uh, a team for major venues with um, higher, bigger, bigger number audiences. Um, each show will have approximately 30 to 40 security staff on duty, and this includes staff posted to doors, um, um, the metal detectors that people will walk through as they enter the venue, uh, bag checks, uh, floats around the venue, as well as perimeter security. Uh, we did submit um, the most updated security plan and procedure, which also includes the crowd management plan to the board uh, this morning. So they have that on file. And also in partnership with Spectrum, who's our concessionaire for this facility, and I know of related security concerns, the premises will also have an ID scanner in this uh, venue they're uh, utilizing IntelliCheck at the doors, and IDs will also be double-checked at points of service for alcohol service. Uh, as far as community outreach is concerned, this venue has been thoughtfully developed in close partnership with the Austin Brighton neighborhood and has been met with great support during the community process. As evidenced by support letters, I know the board has received from residents, um, nonprofit and community organizations and elected officials. Um, common threads and echoes that we've heard about this venue are, is that because Austin Brighton is a community that thrives thanks to a vibrant arts culture, this venue will bring economic and creative development to the neighborhood. Um, the people are looking forward to music venues in the neighborhood to support um, local Boston musicians and performers. Um, and uh, as far as nonprofit and community outreach relationships and community benefits in the, in the uh, neighborhood, there was one uh, in particular from the West End House that spoke very highly of the Bowery who has played an active role for over a decade in the neighborhood and played a critical role to help support the live arts ecosystem that is, quote, so essential to making our city vibrant and a welcoming place for all. And certainly speak to their thoughtful partnership and support of nonprofits um, in the community, not only financially, but in, with time and volunteer efforts as well, including job pipeline training for folks and providing workshops for careers in the live music business. Uh, the Bower certainly continues to, or looks forward to continuing the relationship in the Austin Brighton neighborhood and making its own contributions and positive impacts as well as community benefits when and where they can. Um, artist displacement um, lately is a huge thing and the lack of practice spaces right now in the neighborhood is something that local artists are feeling. One of the bigger um, practice facilities on the same block is looking to be redeveloped. So local musicians have lost a lot of space to perform. And this venue is definitely going to provide an opportunity for musicians not only to play ticketed concerts. They actually do have a number of bands from the area that will be playing or plan to play for Roadrunner already, but have this space about available for them to re rehearse will be a great thing. Uh, additionally, and I think worth noting, uh, they will be co collecting 25 cents per ticket that will fund Shout Syndicate, which will fund arts programming, uh, close to $100,000 of direct financial impact to local arts programming um, will happen, counting nothing else, um, just from the tickets alone that they will host. The anticipated opening date um, is, well, we'll hopefully receive the certificate of occupancy by the end of this month, working hard to achieving that through final inspections with the first planned hard opening event for March 9th. With that being said, Josh, um, 
please feel free to add anything you'd like and happy to answer any uh, questions or concerns that the board may have. Uh, thanks, Chris. I'm not sure you left too much, uh, too much detail out for me to uh, <laughs> fill in, but uh, uh, you know, we're, we're very much looking forward to uh, joining the Alston Brighton neighborhood. Uh, I feel like this is a great use for a neighborhood that is uh, certainly embrace the arts uh, for for decades uh, before my time even, um, and we feel like it'll be a welcome uh, welcome addition to the neighborhood. We were very thoughtful as we looked around um, the city for where we wanted to add um, an additional venue and find a home, and I, we found a, a good partner uh, in in New Balance Development Group who understood the vision for what we were looking to build, um, and went through you know a rigorous process to look. Um, both at the venue space uh, as well as the neighborhood and our operations, and uh, look forward to to joining the neighborhood and uh, and bringing some some great concerts and events to the area. Thank you, Executive Director Joyce, Director Fu. Any questions? Um, I'm just going to jump in and I'll let Rebecca pick up if I missed anything. So um, the license is until two a.m. What time would doors open? How many hours before an event would doors open? Roughly. Um, typically one hour before doors. Um, I think a, a typical event, we would see a, a seven o'clock doors um, with an eight o'clock uh, performance beginning. We have the full, you know, the full 2 a.m. license in there, which will give us <clears throat> flexibility for New Year's special events uh, and other activities. But I'd say the vast majority, <clears throat> sorry, uh, of the events will be concluded by 11 p.m. Okay, and ticket tickets are they? Um, can you purchase tickets at the door, or are they online only? Uh, both. So we see probably somewhere around ninety percent, uh, and that's an ever increasing number of tickets being purchased in advanced online. Um, that we do have two box office windows there. So um, if a concert is not sold out um, by the time we open doors, tickets will be available day of. Uh, but once concerts are sold out. Um, to uh, the 3,500 capacity, then, then no more tickets will be made available. And we do not do um, kind of a one out, one in type thing. Once once the event is sold out, it is it is sold out similar to what you'd see at other uh, venues around town. Okay. Uh, and I know there's been a lot of support. We have received some letters, but um, Attorney Scanlon, is there a letter from the neighborhood group? We might have it already, but um, and I know you mentioned that you met with them. Um, we did have one. I don't know that we have one on record, but I can follow up with them. I know it was previously supported and may be just in the hands of the licensing board from that we'll check. We don't but know, I'll but, double um, check. If you happen to have it handy, it would just help with um, us sticking it out. Okay. We, um, we might have it on the licensing side. I'll, yeah, I'll double um, check and send it over. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to Rebecca to see if I missed anything that you would like to get answers to. Um, okay. My only question is, are there any residents nearby this venue? There is the Lantera building that's the closest. Um, and they, I know, um, obviously are fully aware of, of the venue and I don't know. And we, we had a, a butters meeting with them pre COVID, um, or no, that was post COVID. I think Josh helped me out on the date there. Uh, no, that, that was pre-COVID uh, as we went through the uh, liquor licensing process. That's what it was. And we had a couple um, come over to visit and discuss, but I don't, I don't know that there's been any um, major concern and that all their concerns were ad adequately addressed. Additionally, they were put on notice of this hearing as well. I have no further questions. Thank you. Great. Are there any individuals who would like to testify on this matter, beginning with elected officials or their representatives? Good morning, Chairwoman Joyce, Attorney Green, Director Fu, Pam Mullaney from Councillor Liz Braden's office. Councillor would like to go on record with her strong support for this particular entertainment license application. The live entertainment that will be hosted by the venue is a welcome addition to the athletic um, and retail offerings at Boston Landing. From the local neighborhood perspective, the Bowery Presents is a closely connected group in terms of connection to the local Alston Brighton community for more than a decade, had been the exclusive booking partner for the former Great Scott and a partner for local community organizations like the Boys and Girls Club of West End House. The shows at Roadrunner will provide many job opportunities for local residents. 
uh, to work in the live music industry and will drive foot traffic to the growing number of small businesses and restaurants in and around the Boston uh, landing area of Brighton. So strong support from Councillor Braden. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other elected officials or the representatives who would like to testify on this item? Good morning, everyone. My name is Alex Cameron. I'm from State Representative Kevin Honan's office. The representative would like to be recorded in support of the Bowery Presents application for an entertainment license for Roadrunner. Uh, the representative has had the opportunity to visit the venue and was incredibly impressed, but also looks forward to the uh, employment opportunities provided to the community, as well as the continued partnership with the West End Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it is for these reasons, again, that the representative would, be, would like to be recorded in support of this license. Thank you. And we have a letter of support from the representative on file as well, this application. Uh, opening up to general testimony, if you would like to testify on this matter, please use the raise hand function if you are able, and I will call on you in the order that we see your hand raised. Uh, I see a hand already raised from Robbie's iPhone. If you could identify yourself and please testify. Hi, my name is Robert Wolfson. Um, I'm in a band out of Boston called Ripe uh, that has grown to a national touring organization uh, and that has worked closely with both the Bowery and with Josh for a while. Um, and we're incredibly supportive of what's happening with Roadrunner. It feels like a massive addition to the Boston music scene and a thing that doesn't currently exist, uh, especially coming out of COVID where venues were in the habit of closing uh, with nothing really coming up to replace them. Um, the Bowery has been incredibly good to Boston musicians in the local scene. Uh, they've been really supportive to us. We are actually in the middle of a tour right now that we did rehearsals for at the Sinclair, a different Bowery venue. Um, and also we worked alongside Josh with the Boys and Girls Club and like, they show up 100% where they say they're going to. They are really good for the community. Uh, I live down the street from Boston Landing and can say that everybody that I speak to on our block is very excited for this to be an addition to the neighborhood. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's a bit surreal to be having something that we've been wanting for almost a decade finally appear in Boston and Roadrunner is it. Thank you. The next hand I see raised is from Alyssa Di Pasquale. You may unmute yourself and testify. Hi, my name is Alyssa Di Pasquale and I'm the owner of the Koji Club. I am a creative operator and business owner at the Charles River Speedway. Um, I am in full 110% support of the Roadrunner entering the neighborhood. Um, I am so warmly welcomed to the Alston Brighton neighborhood as a Brookline resident for such a long time. And I can tell you that meeting everybody in the neighborhood and over the past year, we are all equally excited for something as exciting as Roadrunner to bring a lot of business to the neighborhood. Um, their opening time of seven o'clock will be so beneficial from a sales perspective for a small business like mine, who will be opening at five o'clock and sometimes even at noon prior. Um, I have a great relationship with Allison Finney. I have full faith that she will run an incredible venue and I cannot wait for it to be a part of a community that they are going to contribute so much to. Thank you. The next hand I see raised is from Keith Craig. You may unmute yourself. Buddy, uh, Keith Craig, uh, NB Development Group. We are the master developer uh, of Boston Landing and landlord to this building. Um, obviously, we're speaking in very much support for the Roadrunner and the Bowery team. Um, we think that the Roadrunner will be an, an anchor not only to Boston Landing and the neighborhood, but also to the arts community. Um, as most people know, at Boston Landing, we've strived to um, have partners um, and retail and restaurant operators that are locally based, have strong connections to Boston and to New England. And this is no different for the Bowery. Um, we've gone through a, a fairly lengthy vetting process to find the right partner for this type of venue. Um, we've um, had a very transparent relationship with the Bowery. We've toured many of their venues in the city as well as other cities. Um, and we feel they are going to be a great tenant and a great asset uh, for us at Boston Landing and for the city. Um, uh, so thank you very much. Um, and again, uh, strong support. Thank you. Next hand raised I see is from Arnaldo Almonte. Good afternoon or uh, good morning. Um, this is Arnaldo Almonte, General Manager. My name is Corey Kramer, uh, Director of Sales at Studio Alston Hotel, uh, 1234 Soldiers Field. Uh, we would just like to provide our support uh, for the entertainment license uh, for Roadrunner and the Bowery team. Uh, the whole concept of our property was to celebrate the budding Austin Brighton community, specifically celebrating the arts. Um, and the success of a venue like Roadrunner is in the, uh, direct conjuncture with that idea. As one of the few hotel accommodations in the area, the more successful we can be as a business, the more support we can provide as, uh, for the community um, for that short-term housing option. 
Um, and coming out of the pandemic, travel has been uh, absolutely crushed. And a venue like this would be game changing. Um, I worked with Allison direct, um, during her time at House of Blues. And I know that under her leadership, the uh, uh, property would be hugely successful. So we uh, want to show our support as well. Thank you. Next hand I see raises from Matt Charette. Hi. Hi, how are you? Can you guys hear me all right? We can hear you. Oh, good. Hi. Uh, my name is Matt Charette. Uh, I've been living in Brighton since 2003. Um, I'm a barber. I run a small three-chair barbershop at 408 Market Street in Brighton Center, aptly named Matt's Barbershop, um, as well as a musician who's been lucky enough to play at uh, um, uh, Bowery venues like the Sinclair uh, and deal with the production team over there. Uh, I can't speak highly enough of everyone involved with this project. Um, and I think uh, I speak for a lot of people in the neighborhood when I say that um, we're really excited to have the venue in the neighborhood. There's a lot of changes recently. There's a lot of development uh, around here. And uh, the venue itself is, is probably the most exciting thing coming to the neighborhood. Um, and I can't think of a better team of people to run it than Bowery Productions. And uh, it's, it's gonna be great. Thank you. I see another hand raised from Cormac Hurley. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Cormac. I am the events manager at American Flatbread in Brighton at 76 Guest Street, right across the street from what will be Roadrunner. Um, all of us, I can speak for all of the management team and the owners on the American Flatbread side and full support of uh, Roadrunner and the Bowery Productions. Um, we are super excited for the business that it will bring to our business as well as the community that it will reorient in the Boston landing area. I think we all could agree that um, the traffic will be increased with the uh, with Bowery coming into the neighborhood. We're excited for what it brings for us as well as all of our neighbors. Thanks. Thank you. And I see another hand raised from Emily. If you could please identify yourself and unmute yourself. Hi, um, my name is Emily. I live at 530 Western Ave in Brighton. Um, and I'm just in support of the venue opening. I think it'll be a really good opportunity for this area um, in terms of the arts, but also employment for people and traffic to other um, businesses and just keep things open and going and growing from there. Thank you. Are there any other individuals who have not yet testified who would like to testify on this matter today? Uh, yes. Uh, Connor Newman with the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Services. At this time, we defer to the board's judgment. Uh, the applicant has worked extensively with the community for a number of years, and this is on everyone's radar in the Alston Brighton area. They've met with both civic associations, the Brighton Alston Improvement Association, the Alston Civic Association. The Mayor's Office also held an abutters meeting uh, several years ago with local artists and abutters. Um, and this is something that I know the community has been very excited for. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, last call, are there any other individuals who have not yet done so who would like to testify on this matter? Thank you. This is the only item before the division today. The executive director will take this matter under advisement and will issue a written decision. Thank you, everybody.